So why XWV, UTS, and RQP? Didn't you memorize the alphabet backwards when you were a kid? If you also know the alphabet backwards, why not give me a little like or click that notification bell? I did, cause reasons. Yes, reasons. Let's go draw the letters Q and R. G'day art adventurers, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm continuing with the Alphabet Animal Art Challenge and I am up to the letter Q. And as many of you guessed, names up here somewhere, I received a quail. And I decided to continue with two themes that have developed during this challenge. One, to do it predominantly monochromatic. So today I'm going to be working mainly in purple. And secondly, to make it a little family, or at least a nest with eggs. And that's what I just finished penciling there, the little nest. And it has some feathers that were poking out in the reference photo. And I quite liked it, so I decided to keep it. I did find a reference, I think anyway, that was actual quail eggs in a nest. And so I put in the feathers, but I'm not sure if that entirely works. And then a proud little papa um, watching over the nest and looking after his, his young little chicks that are about to hatch soon. And that's pretty much the, the concept for this one. And of course, our circle background. And I'm quite pleased with the overall effect of it, or what it ends up looking like. And I decided, as you can see there, to do it in alcohol markers, my touch five markers trying to learn the technique of working with a lot of the darks first and then blending them out but my natural instinct is to put down lights and then slowly build up because of course with alcohol markers you can make things darker but you can never make things lighter but it takes more ink and takes more time if you go light to dark so if you can put in the darks and then blend those straight out you save both ink and time and I'm trying to learn to work quicker that's part of this challenge so I I think I did okay with the nest things get a little bit blurry because of the tendency of the touch five markers to spread outwards sideways but I come back and I'll fix that in a little bit and the papa bear bird i get a little bit worried at first with the darks but i think it comes together okay thanks again to some little tricks towards the end that i can use to salvage it so i told you that this would be a pretty easy animal to guess and when i looked up animals starting with q there were only four i think results that came back that were fairly common animals and certainly in the Google list that first appeared with pictures it was quail, quetzal, quokka and so a few people guessed quokka probably because I mentioned it in the last video and there was one other but it's escaping my mind at the moment. Um, and of course the background I put in my Amsterdam acrylic marker golds. This one is the deep gold I think and I think it works really well with the, the purple. And then I come in with my uh, various jelly rolls. These sets of jelly rolls I haven't seen too many people use. They're some sort of silver, I forget the exact name of them, but silver metallic or something. And they come in a pack of, or I got them, in a pack of five, and they have colours to them. And when you put them down, they're those colours, but very quickly it begins to transform into silver. And it's meant to have a very thin strip on the edges of those colours that are left behind. But I almost can never tell the difference, or I can't really tell the difference. It just always seems to become completely silver when I use it. But that's okay. It's like five free silver gel pens or not free because I bought them but you know what I mean they're, they're f five silver gel pens and I love metallics so I think you can do a whole bunch of interesting effects if you're working in a dark area with those and they're pretty uniform I think they're 0.5 or so in thickness and then I finish things off with a purple sharpie going around the outside of the metallic circle and to touch up some of the, the lines around the bird and the nest. 
And then finally, I put in some whites with, um, I think a jelly, actually a bunch of different white pens, mostly a jelly roll, maybe my Signo. This was a few days ago, so I can't quite remember. But that's it for the letter Q for quail. And I quite like that purple papa quail. It turned out quite cute. And then we move on to the letter R. I think a number of people guessed this one as well. I will need to put their names up somewhere too because I forgot to write them down before I started the voiceover this time, sorry. And I decided to play with some pencils that I bought at the 100 yen store, the discount dollar store in Japan before I left. Just before I left, I got these and the pack of the push pencils was 100 yen, yakuen, which is like, I don't know, 85 cents US or something. And then a whole container of different colored refills was also 100 yen. So same price, like 85 cents US. And they even come with little sharpeners on the end, as you saw me using then. And I've only seen those sorts of things on expensive mechanical pencils or um, drafting pencils. And they're actually really delightful to draw with and use. I think the same sort of level of pencil quality as the Prismacolor rays, and I found that they're fairly erasable. I just thought they would be horrible quality and not very good, and I hadn't really used them for much except for a couple of quick doodles when I'm riding the train, and I never really thought too much about exploring more with them until now. And you saw me change the yellow for an orange because I'm doing another secondary monochromatic piece, secondary color. And this one is all orange rabbits. And for me, I think it's super cute if there's a little rabbit sniffing at a flower. Um, and so I decided to make it illustrative and stylized by having this little bunny smelling a big chrysanthemum, I think it is. Um, or a generic sort of large flower, but I'm pretty sure it's based on a chrysanthemum. And I quite like how the, actually I like how the whole thing turned out in terms of the line work. I really um, think the illustration itself is just cute and adorable, in my opinion anyway, um, but I'm not so happy with the coloring. Even when I was putting down these lines, even at this stage, I was thinking, uh, I think it would be cool if I did this all in like rainbow colors or tried to do it with realistic colors with the orange outline. But I was committed to finish my monochromatic color wheel and get this last of the secondary colors out, the orange, because I'd already done green and purple. And so I pushed ahead and tried to make this whole thing an orange piece. I think it works well for the flower in some ways, although I kind of ruined things a little bit, but I just don't think it works so great for the rabbit. It seems to all end up quite uniform, kind of mid-tones, except for the flower head, where I darken that now. But everything else is pretty mid-tones and just really orange. <laughs> I don't know, there must be people that really love orange out there, but these are all just kind of bright in your face oranges that kind of slam at you. And then I also put in a gold metallic background, which I think even further enhances that golden orange sort of effect. So basically I end up really happy with the line work, but not the coloration. And the orange is just so overpowering that I realized the only way to at least somewhat fix it is to come back like with many of my animals, and do a dark outline using a brush pen. And I'm quite happy to do that. I was just trying to do something different, but I, I love the effect of the, the black outline contrasting with a graphic image. So I happily came back and put in black outlines and with this brush pen, I think the Zebra Sensations brush pens, it works out well, but I still would rather it not have been all orange and you know, one day maybe I'll make this like a proper watercolor piece or something instead and fix it. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the letters Q and R, quite common, easy animals for today. 
but the next couple, because I've already done them, get a little bit trickier. So take your guesses for the letters S and T. I'll be pretty surprised if people guess these ones. And I'll see you guys soon for another art adventure. Bye. P.S. It really helps me out if you can take a moment to click that like button and if you'd like to see more videos and the rest of the alphabet, don't forget to hit that notification bell and click subscribe. Alright, I'm definitely finished this time. Take care.